Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well today we're going to do another segment of the cleaning table. And today we're going to be cleaning a horse side jack. I was out the other day with my buddy Bill. He caught the biggest horse side jack I have ever seen. I've never seen one over 5 pounds, 3 to 5 pounds the most. And this fish is pushing 20, maybe even bigger. It's a very nice fish. And uh, typically the larger jack curvels aren't really good to eat. But uh... The horse side jacks supposedly are really good, so we're going to try that later in a catch and cook video or trash fish or treasure, but right now we're going to clean one for you and I'll see you guys at the cleaning table. guys I get my big horse side jack here that Bill caught and we're gonna go ahead and try this guy out they look just like a, a, a Jack Ravel except they have this big bulging eye right here and they're a little bit darker colored a little more black a little more gray not as bright yellows and not silver on the bottom like a Jack Ravel and I have never seen one this big this is the biggest horse eye I have ever seen usually we catch them they're about this big, maybe a pound, pound and a half, three pounds tops. This one here is hitting double digits. So uh, we're gonna clean it up. Usually they're a little better tasting than Jack Ravels, which I do like Jack Ravels, as long as they're smaller. I don't like Jack Ravels over, over like five or six pounds. So Jack this size, I would not keep, but we're gonna try this guy out. So basically we're gonna clean it just like we do a Jack Ravel. We're gonna take the back strap off. like this and they're gonna be making all kinds of noise and don't try cutting through these hard scales right here because it just will ruin your knife these things are super hard now once we got that cut we'll come back and we'll start going along the backbone like this and just run that knife along that backbone just like that this whole back strap should come right off like that here we go we got that big back strap and I'm already noticed it's not as dark as a uh, Jack Ravel and then we'll come in right here about where this fin is and make another incision make another cut and we'll cut on the other side of this uh, hard scales here their tail tail scales flip them around Cut along that backbone. Like that. Go and we'll get that little piece off. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And I'll get back with you. All right, guys, I got all my strips of meat off the fish. So we're going to go ahead and start skinning them and getting them prepared to cook. So I'm just going to take that off like that. Try to leave as much of that dark meat on the skin as you can because the dark meat is what makes fish taste so bad. Some fish, it don't bother them at all. Like a triple tail, they don't bother it. Trigger fish. With fish like this, you want to get all that blood meat off as you can. So that's a nice piece of clean meat right there. Do this other one. 
what I do is I just barely keep my knife off the skin so I'm still hitting the meat as I'm going as you can see like that and I'm leaving that dark meat on the skin it takes a little getting used to doing that but as you can see most of the dark meats right there and cut this off There you go. All right, we'll do our back straps here. Same thing, try to stay off that skin as much as you can. There we go. All the dark meat's on the skin for the most part. Still got a lot up here though. And that's really easy to do. Run that knife along like that. And you'll get it, most of it off. Same thing right here. There you go. You got some really nice looking meat here. I've personally never eaten one this big, so this will be kind of interesting. I've eaten smaller ones and I really like horse eye jacks. But, uh, when it comes to big ones, I've never eaten one over like three pounds. And normally like Jack Revelles and stuff, I won't keep over five or six pounds because they just get to be too fishy. So I'm curious to see what this will look like. And with black, uh, Jack's this side, the meat's almost black. I mean, it's really dark. So this right here is looking pretty good to me. All right. Well, here we have it, guys. There's our horse side Jack. Hey y'all, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you found it very informative. If you ever get the chance to clean a horse side jack or you catch one that big or or even a Jackerville, if you want to try one that big, clean them pretty much the same way. I uh, hope you guys found it informative and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching the video and also for tuning in and subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys very much. I really do. You guys mean the world to me. You guys show a lot of support, and I'm very grateful, and I'm humbled by y'all, and I appreciate it, guys. I really do. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of the uh, Jetty Rock family, and I'll look for your comments in the comment section. And so I get to see you guys again soon here on the water. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers. Hey, Jetty Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. But well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.